Hello everyone, welcome to Monkey Fish Channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you one of my training sessions. So last week we did a realistic self-defense scenarios. And for those who know my channel and know me, you should know that I'm not a big fan of those kind of trainings because to me, those realistic self-defense scenarios are not really realistic. I do this kind of training from time to time just to make my training more interesting and just for fun. And when I watch some of those type of trainings on internet I can see that they have the same scenarios and the attackers attack always the same way and this is what I like about my training with my friends because we have a one scenario and we did three different takes and each round was completely different we just go with the flow so it depends what story will bring but yeah the base is the same this is why I like our type of training, not this what I can see on the internet. But I am sure that we are not the only ones who do it. So first scenario was with Nicolas and I will skip the part with the acting and all this story. I will just tell you fast how it was. I am uh, the guy who selling the ticket or letting people into the event. And Nicolas show up too late and he want to use the ticket. And I want to tell him that he cannot use the ticket because he's late. And then he get angry, start pushing me and start throwing their hands. So this is how it was. I got to stop here because I have to tell you that I felt really bad that I hit him that hard. I didn't mean to hit him that hard. I know it wasn't hard. When I watched this on the phone, then it looked super cool. It looked like in the movie, like, you know, Wing Chun, Chan Chan. <laughs> you know, it's like an Ip Man movie. Wing Chun, Ip Man. I now have a background in the Wing Chun, so as you can see, it works. And this was just a reflex. I didn't plan it. Yeah, I just did it. After that, he was throwing just straight punches. I tried to keep him in the distance by holding my hands in the front of me and then I used the momentum because he was going forward I going backwards so it was perfect to use my judo and sumo background so I did some kind of hybrid between uh, Koshiguruma and Uwatanage like sumo or judo takedown and and this is how it ends so Let's go for the next round. The scenario was the same. I was you know, sitting close to the table and I have to check the tickets. And he just tried to walk without giving me any tickets. So I tried to stop him and then he get angry and then we start fight. <laughs> so this is how it was. In my opinion, this round was a little bit more violent because uh, he just started going forward really fast. I knew that I have a chair behind me, so I tried to kick the chair back so I would not fall in it. And he decided to take this chair and hit me with it. I dodged two swings with the chair and I get hit with the third one. And I know some of you are going to tell me that this could knock me down, but you have to remember that this was an event and people on these chairs normally they don't have a big heavy chairs, they have aluminum flip chairs or the plastic chairs, so they are not that heavy, not that hard. And I can also take a lot of damage because of my showering training, but it doesn't matter. And yeah, I get I try to close the distance, I get hit with this with the uh, chair, I took something from the table, it was some kind of you know bag or laptop or doesn't matter something I tried to use this as a shield and it was a fun thing because he have a uh, chair in front of him he haven't see what I am doing so I have openings I hit him to the belly and then when we still fight with our weapons I, I get another opening I hit him to the face and then we go down 
and I get a good position because I stand, uh, I was on the top and I tried to keep him in the distance because he didn't want to cross the line between being attacker and victim. This is a self-defense scenario so and I'm on the event so I could just try to keep him down and the security should come and take this guy from me but you know we just train but I tried to keep him down and and he throw the punches from the bottom but this punches wasn't that hard he touched me a few times but he was in the distance to give me a huge damage and because he was keep going then I decided to attack him back so first I throw the uh, elbow to his stomach and then I throw a lot of punches down you know this is a training we just have fun so I was throwing punches to his body but normally it would be to his face so yeah last round is again the same scenario Michael and Nicolas want to go to the event and they don't have a ticket and I did I cannot let them in I cannot let them in and then stay and start you know scare me because there are some bodies on this neighborhood and and I didn't want to let them in because I don't want to lose my job and I have a, my friend with me so I tried to use some psychology you know and scare them by hitting the table with my stick and actually it worked <laughs> they get scared a bit and you know we just played but I could see on their faces that they have like what the fuck <laughs> Michael kicked the table, I throw the table back and they go around me, around the table and I was going back and I saw the chair so I used my stick to throw the chair on them then Nicolas pick up the chair and then one of them have a weapon, one of them not and long story short they took me down and this was the end because there was two of them and it was just me but I am pretty sure that in real life if I would have a real wooden baseball bat then they would think twice before they come closer to me but on the second hand I can see some problems about my performance with that because of my weapon uh, training instead of hitting with the bat I try to cut them with the bat <laughs> it's, it's so weird because I use a lot of you know time with uh, sword fighting I use the baseball bat as a sword this was stupid but you know you know we just play around and this is a foam baseball bat but still can hit really hard and yeah I have nothing more to show you because it's no more <laughs> you can see different scenarios on the uh, Zen Dragon channel and Shinobi Hero channel later if when they edit their own rounds because each of us get a free round and then we yeah we share the videos to, between each other but doesn't matter so this is it thank you for watching see you next time <laughs>